So I'm doing some fun folds, and I love this paper, this DSP. It's for the, and I'm like, where was that paper? Celebrate everything 12 by 12. This is actually a hostess thing, and it's gorgeous paper. I mean, it's got Christmas. I just love it. I'm just going to go through a few of the cute. It's got the black and white right here and there. I Look at that Halloween. Just love this paper. There's more fall, but the backs are just as fun and more celebrate for New Year's. I love this for birthday and the more polka dots. Can never have enough polka dots. So this is really a good value. You get so much DSP. This is how I do them, okay? The first one I'm going to show you is, this is the long fold, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it a couple different ways. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to five and a half, which is half of the card, five and a half and five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here, and I'm going to use my um, cutting blade, and I'm going to go halfway down, which four and a quarter is two and an eighth. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is go all the way down right here to two and an eighth. Stop. It's right here. I'm lining this line up right here with this. Then I'm going to take my... You can see it's cut. Then I'm going to take my scoring tool, which is the light one. I'm going to go right up to that. So it's halfway scored and halfway slit. Now I'm going to take this and go for two and an eighth right here. And I'm going to go all the way up to the cutting blade to that point and stop middle. Okay, then I've got this. This is my card right here. Okay, this piece right here is going to be used as a flap. So I'm just going to fold this over like so. Okay, there's two different ways you can do this. You can do it this way, so you open it like that, or you can do it this way, so you can open it like that. Okay, let me show you some ideas of that fold. Done with the vertical. Here you go. There's this one, open, and open. See, and all I did was take this piece off right here and use it as my flap right there. Super simple. Okay, the same thing with this one. This is that lovely paper. And then you have a place to write here. You probably want to know how to make this piece right here. Okay, this spot right here. So we're going to go down to almost, to, um, we're going to go to one and seven eighths. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. This already is four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to take that. That's going to go on the bottom, and this is going to go on the top. So look at this. This will go right here. And this I can turn over, and it's going to actually go underneath that. So it goes like that. So when you open this up, you're not having to see that, that seam. It's already covered. The whole secret is to take this at four inches by five and a quarter, okay? Once you've closed this, you can basically cut it the size you want for that, okay? So you've seen that fold. Now I'm gonna take the same thing but switch it to this paper. In other words, instead of having it open up the here, it's gonna open up the side. So we go ahead and cut this piece which I'm just going to do right now, just because it's simple to see it. Just the half, like this. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and score it, the four and a quarter. And 
then I'm going to go ahead and take off the edge. So right here, we're going to go ahead and make that half of four and a quarter, which is two and eight right there. Okay, so we've got it like this. Now we have this piece that goes here or here. So we're going to fold that over. So we've got that or that. So let me show you these ideas. Right here, from the side, love this paper. And this one I just tucked underneath the ribbon. I love this. Like that. So those are from the side. Now let me show you another fold with the same idea. We're going to take off uh, this piece. So we've already pre-cut this at um, two and three-fourths, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and mark this at five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and score. Uh-oh. You guys never do that, do you? Okay, just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We took this half right there off. Now what we're going to do is turn it on its side. So you can either open it from this side, like a card, this way, or you can do it this way. So you want to just cut this. If you're going to stamp on something, you want to cut it a quarter of an inch shorter and for this piece and this piece. Same thing if you did it this way and this way. This back piece is five and a quarter by four. So you've got that look. Or if you want to just do it like this, it's up to how you'd like to do it. Let me show you the samples. This one right here is actually not my idea. Look how I put that in there with the brad. So these move, it moves freely. And you just want to make sure you don't put the dimensionals, you want to put them up here. So that's Warm Wishes. Gotta love that paper. This right here is, oh, I love this paper. So the same thing. You can actually take this and make it move back and forth too. I just was, I needed sleep. <laughs> So that's fun. And then this is just birthday. Same thing. Now, if I was to turn it this way, I could stamp this way. So you've got vertical and horizontal ideas on these fun folds. So just super simple, just the way you cut it and score it. <laughs>